a lot of cooking is happening here. This area right here, I can actually remove this so that we can easily get the items that are hard to reach. Building a home doesn't happen in a day. In fact, it takes years of hard work and patience. We moved in this house back when my husband was the sole breadwinner of our family and it made us realize that it might take a while for us to build this house as to how we want it. Just recently, we renovated our dirty kitchen and I've kept most of you updated through my Instagram posts. And some of you have requested for a virtual tour. So today, join me as I walk you through my dirty kitchen no more project. This entire kitchen is my design and concept. I'm actually happy that my husband gave me a free hand as to how this kitchen will turn out. In conceptualizing this kitchen, I took into consideration the people who will be using it, how it's going to be used, and of course, what items are going in. So we made it happen through customized cabinetry. And I am very happy because I was able to find someone who we're able to execute my design. So the first consideration is to free up the counters because again, this is our dirty kitchen and a lot of cooking is happening here. So for us to be able to do that, I had this made where it's called our appliances garage. And we keep all our appliances here just so it's stuffed in and not getting in the way of food preparation and if ever we do, let's say, a buffet setup here, then it's not exposed. And another thing is this one. I intend this to be our pantry where we keep all our food items. And as you see, we need to restock. And this area is a little bit high, so that's why I installed this pull-down rack that I got from the container store in the US, but you can also get it from Amazon so that we can easily get the items that are hard to reach. This is also supposedly for the pantry, but again, no more stuff. We need to do our groceries, so yeah. So another customized um, item in this kitchen. So in this area, you see that when you pull it out, everything that you need for cooking is here. So the lids are here and the pots are here. So in this area right here are multiple drawers because what I want about drawers is it's very contained and it's not as space consuming. You can actually compartmentalize all the items that you own in the kitchen. In this area is where we keep all our cooking utensils and our cutlery. So here I made a customized drawer that has dividers so we can segregate our cutleries and knives and in this area i used a organizer sorter to make sure that our cooking utensils are also segregated and in this area is where we keep all our plates and glasses. So I'll show you one feature in this cabinet. I have this made. There is something special in this drawer where it has pegboard so that when I pull out the drawer, it wouldn't move. So since this is where we cook our food, this area right here is where we keep all our serving dishes and our food storage. So I made sure that we have an easy access to the items that our food will go in terms of serving and if we need to keep it. So at least everything is there. And then one of my favorites, actually this is an accident because supposedly this area right here is a little bit bigger. But however, when we measured it, um, the stove should go here because of the excess fan because before it was here. So this one, um, it was a beautiful accident because I asked them to just make me a um, spice rack. And this is a pull-out rack where I keep all my dry ingredients and spices. And on the other side is where I keep our wet ingredients. And it's nice because since it's deep, I get to keep some of our excess items and our stocks. And I had this 
Lazy Susan made so that it's easy for us to get the items that are in the back. And of course, as you noticed, I've decanted everything so that it's more uniform. Another area that was actually suggested by my husband is to put here a dish drainer so that we avoid buying those dish trainers that are in the counter. So again, less clutter on the working area. And once we're done washing the dishes, we put it up here and it's nice because this is removable so we can drain out the excess water. This area is another custom-made cabinetry where I asked them to do this interchangeable tray holder. So if ever I need to store, let's say, a bulky item here, I can actually remove this and make space for it. At least they were able to um, sort out the items that we use in the fridge and for serving. And hopefully later on when I know how to bake, this is where our baking pans will go as well. So another favorite of mine is this produce drawer that I'm so happy that our furniture maker was able to execute. So I asked them to have a vent here in the drawer so that air will flow just so it will avoid the produce to have molds because air is circulating inside the drawer. So this is where we store produce ingredients like onions, garlic, ginger, and then I have here sweet potatoes. Since I don't want to waste any space here in the kitchen, and it's also a shared space with our helpers, I made sure that they also have their own area here in the kitchen. And this is where we keep their plates, and their grocery. So they have an area right here where it's all assigned to them. So this is where their, their cutlery go. And they also have a coffee station. So this area right here, just to make it a little homey, I used these baskets from Basketry Home where we keep all our kitchen towels and kitchen rags. So my key takeaways in this project is that that patience is a virtue because even if this project has been halted down by the lockdown, I am now very happy that we get to enjoy the space once again and it's something that my family has been looking forward to. And I'm enjoying uh, using this working kitchen once again. And the second one is that collaboration is really, really important because this project is not possible without the help of those people who made sure that we are able to execute our design. And lastly, I cannot reiterate the importance of a place for everything and everything in its place. I hope you enjoyed this Dirty Kitchen No More project tour. And until the next time, stay neat everyone.